Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to write a program that log into Gmail and read latest three email subjects and display them in message box. We do this in three steps. First we write a program to access Gmail. Secondly we change the settings to the Gmail account and then we run the program and test to display the latest three email subjects. Add sequence activity and then search for the mail in the activity pane. Drag get IMAP mail messages inside sequence. Now enter the details like port for Gmail it is 993 and server imap.gmail.com and then provide email and password. Only unread messages checkbox is on as we are going to look for only 100 messages. Now I am entering email and uh, password. So we keep top 3 as we are looking to read only the latest 3 emails. Next we take for each activity to iterate through the data, select type of argument, browse for types and then choose system.net.mail message. So here I miss giving output uh, value in get imap mail messages activity. Click on the message box and type control K to create a variable on the fly and then assign the name of variable as message. By default variable type is set as list of mail message. Just keep as it is. Ok, now enter the variable message in uh, for each activity. Add message box activity inside the body of for each. In the message, enter item dot subject to get the subject of the emails. Let's run the program and see the output. We got error saying invalid credentials because there are some settings to be done in the Gmail to access mails. Login to Gmail, click on settings and then select forward and pop IMAP. Here choose enable pop and enable imap options. Let's run and see the results. Still we are getting the same error because we need to complete second step verification in security settings of gmail account. Go to the security tab and click on uh, second step verification enter the phone details So now the second step verification is done. Next step. So the next step is to generate app passwords. So go to the security tab and choose app passwords.
here select mail and windows phone or windows computer click on generate so copy the password generated and paste it in the password property of get imap mail messages let's run the program and see the output this time program is successful latest 3 email subjects has been retrieved and displayed in the message box